I wouldn't want to take a bite from one of these guys. What's up? Welcome back, everybody. We're here with Chandler, and as you can see, we got a lot more cages in this room. Tyler put most of his venomous collection here because he just had a kid this morning. Congratulations, Tyler. Tyler. Congratulations on the rider. But we've been doing a lot of feeding, and a lot of these cages need to be cleaned. The Indian needs to be cleaned. The forest cobra needs to be cleaned. The puff adders, Tyler's puff adders. So we're gonna go around, we're gonna clean a couple cages. Then we're gonna do a little mini tour with all these venomous snakes. Feels like Dookie in here. We gotta do yeah, something about we, this. Please, some Febreze. All right, let's get to cleaning. All right, the first snake we're gonna clean is the forest cobra. Now you guys saw I actually got a little baby forest cobra, but this guy is a lot bigger. This one's about what? Six, seven feet long, right? Yeah, she, she's six foot. She's not too bad, but she's still a forest cobra and you know how they are. These guys are notoriously known for flying straight out of the cage directly at your chest. Look at that. We're gonna wait for the end of the tail. Oh, she's thick, bro. She'll stab you with her modified scale at yep. the tip of the tail. She does have such a blue hue to her, just like an indigo does. She's just stabbing away at her wrist. Oh, look at that, look at that. Ooh, look at that. That is a Huge beautiful forest cobra. forest cobra. When I hold her up, she's almost as tall as me, so she's definitely just around six feet long. Look at that, a beautiful snake. You can see her opening up her mouth. Ooh. These forest cobras love to open up their mouth Flick of their tongue and strike right at you. Let's go ahead, we're gonna throw her in the bin. This is a super, super large snake, so you're not just gonna throw this snake inside of another bin. You have to use a big, big container like this trash can. All right. Largest true cobra on the planet. Woo! Let's go, baby. <laughs> Let's clean this cage. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> damn, you flew over like an eagle. And if you guys didn't know, forest cobras, they come in all different kinds of color variations. They'll come in black and white, black and yellow, and they'll come in solid jet black. Super cool. Hey, and this type of black and yellow will kill a fellow. Hey, black and yellow, black and yellow. Bah, bah, bah. Hey, Gabby, how you doing? How you doing, Gabby Nicole? How you doing, baby? All right, so we got this forest cobra's enclosure all nice and clean. We're gonna crack this lid, open this puppy up. She looks like an indigo when you just see her coils. I know, I love her. All right, we gotta be very careful because she's nice and slippery now. Look, she's just Have a look at the tip room. of her tail, stabbing me right in the arm. Awesome. You gotta be very careful because a snake this size is strong enough to basically hold onto your wrist, turn around, and bite you in the forearm. Look at that. There you go. Woo! Beautiful. You! On to the next. All right, guys, and while we're over here on this side of the room, we have Chandler's Gila Monsters. So we're gonna open this cage up, grab these puppies out, and do a quick little spot clean. Now these guys, they're pretty chill, but you always wanna treat an animal like this very, very seriously. So you wanna treat this like a little gator. So you wanna just come over, grab her. Then one, once you get her out, we can be more comfortable. You look at that. Super short, super stout. Look at her, she's shedding right now, so her colors are super, super beautiful. Look oh, at that. I love Gila the monsters. Gila monster. And these guys are native to the southwestern part of the United States. So Mexico, Arizona, places like that. But this guy, he can't kill you with his bite. But when they do bite you, makes you want to kill yourself. Look at that hold he's got on my hands too. This guy's got some serious fingernails on him. These guys are subterrestrial. So they will be making burrows, living in other animals' burrows, invading burrows, eating the animals inside like mice, rats, things like that. The Gila test. Wow. So cool, I love these little monsters. Let's get this other one out. Big boy, he's my favorite. He's a lot bigger. He is so pretty, look at him. I have not handled these healers before, so I'm gonna treat this animal like it's the first time we've met when it's really the second. He's coming right for you, he's coming right for you. Woo! <laughs> you got this, this thick boy, this TB thick boy. Look at that. Hey, look at him. Look at that. Yeah, he was on a diet for a while, bro. He was looking really voluptuous. His colors are insane. What do you feed these guys? Quail eggs, quail rat eggs? pinkies, mice. They really love quail eggs. That's what they eat a lot naturally out in the wild. Look at that skin. When you when you look at them and you feel them, it, it feels like an animal that would just sit outside in the desert all day. Where are his venom glands at? His venom glands are not where you think they would be because usually you think with venomous reptiles, it's back here where there's big bulbuses. Mm -hmm. But right here, they're on the bottom. That's just jaw, muscle. Right? That's just like jowl muscle. Yeah. The bottom jaw right there. You see where it's real thick, just like a Komodo dragon. They have a venom gland in their bottom jaw. Whew, crazy. So crazy. Look at this guy. Now these are lizards, so when you hold them, you want to hold them very, very supportive, so that way they don't freak out. Right. This is a dangerous situation, Rolly. Go! Ooh. 
All right, let's clean this cage. All right, so the Gila Monsters enclosures are all nice and clean. You can see I'm gonna block this guy right here so that way when I grab him, she doesn't try and bite me. <laughs> they're, you're they're, fine, bro. They're, they're pretty feisty. But uh, the worst thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna feel the worst pain of your life for about a week. Oh yeah, the worst pain of my life. Yeah, that's not just with lot, lots of vomiting right. and, and headaches. Let's get one more nice, beautiful look at this guy. Whew, right inside beautiful. that hide. Thank you for cleaning this, dude. No worries. Got you. Taylor has a lot of snakes on this plate right now. Pan around. Look at all this. This probably is the largest private collection in Florida, right? Can yeah, and, and you know, I don't even sell snakes. This is just private collection and exhibition collection. This is An exhibit combined with a big private collection. All right, let's go. We got one more heal monster to go. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha, mate. You wouldn't want to take a bite from one of these guys. All right, these guys all locked up. Let's go play with some Indian Cobras. Fastest venomous collection tour. Go, go. Burnwave, inland side pin, black next mini cobra. Uh, eyelash viper, eyelash viper, kaboom viper, kaboom viper. Wait, uh, squam. Okay. What? Squam. Squam. Uh, uh, Easter time back. Uh, hill monster, hill monster, forest cobra, the yellow anaconda, poke and trigger. All right, over here, over here. Uh, China shark nose viper, black tail rattlesnake, green anaconda, green anaconda, king cobra. Two green mamas, two mongrel carvers, oh, one more brain black snake, one bush pasta. Breathe, 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 breathe. breathe. Blood snake, death adder, South American rattlesnakes, Egyptian cobra, the Eastern Dryback rattlesnakes, black mama, Indian carvers, <laughs> South American rattlesnake, copperhead, zebra spinner, uh, Eastern Dryback, albino Eastern Dryback, hop adder, pink rattlesnake, giant black mama, you're a rattlesnake. Breathe, Pop breathe, adder. wait, wait, breathe, brother. King Brown. Indian cover, yellow in the corner. Whoa! Spinning cover, spinning cover, spinning cover, spinning cover, spinning cover, spinning cover, spinning cover. Wait, wait. King cover, king this? cover, rattlesnake, rattlesnake, two hybrids, king break, mixed with Zena, Easter Storm. We're almost done. King cover, king cover. Uh, loose this six month with cover. Uh, it's Lars, it's Lars. Uh, Egyptian snout of cobra. Uh, Mang shake viper, Mang shake viper. Uh, Pop fighters! Uh, spinner, 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 Hey, thanks for the tour, man. <laughs> All right, guys, the next animal we have right here is an Indian cobra, and I always love coming over to Chandler's and handling his Indians because they are crazy. Mine is really dog tame, but this one right here is absolutely insane. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh. There she is right there, brother. Ooh. Look at that. She was hiding right up on top of the lip on that vision cage. That's why those lips are so dangerous. Guys, look at the white speckling on this Indian Cobra. Absolutely insane. Look at how she hoods up. Hoo -hoo -hoo. This is one of the nicest Indians I have ever seen. Look at that snake. Whew. Look at that. Super beautiful. Wow, man, I just love Cobras. Cobras are my hands down favorite snakes in the world. Look at this snake. Look how he puts on a show. These are the same snakes right here that the Indian flute players will use to stay still, open up their hood, and put on a show. Because these guys are perfect show snakes. All right, we don't want to mess with her too much. We're going to grab her up, put her in the bin, and be very, very careful, especially when we're putting that lid on, because this is a super fast Indian cobra. Ooh, doggy. Nice. All right, guys, we got the Indian Cobra's enclosure all nice and clean. We got some new Cypress mulch in there, some fresh H2O. So let's go ahead and put her back in her cage. Look at this snake. Her hiss is so loud. All right. His Indian Cobra's have actually been breeding. So hopefully in a couple months, we'll have some Indian Cobra babies. Now I have a male as well. So hopefully we can get a baby female and breed these guys one day. All right, right in the cage. There you go. Done. Now the next snakes we're gonna clean are these two little puff adders right here. And one of these puff adders looks like a Tanzania locale, which is one of the most beautiful locales of puff adders in the world. These Tanzania locales are super, super light in color. These guys are pretty much a light grayish to a bright, bright yellow. They're super, super cool. Look at that. And their enclosure is very dirty, but that's no problem. We're gonna go ahead and get them all nice and cleaned up. But I wanna give you guys a really good look at this puff adder because this right here, this is as good as it gets. And this little snake right here is one of the fastest striking snakes in the entire world. These guys, when they strike, be sure not to blink because you will miss it. These guys are absolutely insane. All right, Chandler, where do you want to put these guys? We can put them right in here. I got this little glass terrarium ready to go. And then we'll get that aspen replaced with paper towel so it's not all damp in there. 
Look at that, a super, super thick bodied snake. And as this snake gets older, its color should get even more lighter. Look at that, such a beauty. All right, let's go grab this one too. This one does look like a Tanzania locale as well. Uh, he might just be deep in shed or just a darker version. Even his colors are seriously on fire. He's got some darker hues to him, but still a super light puff adder. Like I said, these snakes are lightning fast. So you don't want to mess with them too much. No free handling, no tailing for the most part. Just out of the box, in the tank. You! Ooh. Check it out. The bin is all nice and spanking clean. Fresh mulch, fresh water. So this is only going to be a temporary enclosure until Chandler gets everything set up. He's just got a lot of snakes and a lot of stuff to deal with. So these guys are going to call this tub home for just a couple days. Now guys, don't go anywhere because after I put these puff adders back, we're going to meet you in my snake room and we're going to check out two new crocodilians. You guys are going to love them. Oi! Crazy, crazy puff adder. One of the fastest strikes out of any animal on earth. You! I would not want to get bit by a puff adder. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're done here at Chandler's. We'll meet you at my snake room to check out my new two crocodilians. See you there. We just left Chandler's. We're back at the snake room and check this out. These right here are my two baby American alligators. We got one little guy swimming back here. We're actually gonna see if these guys can eat for the first time. Come on, buddy. Oh, look at that. Second day having these guys in my collection and they're already eating, look at that. These guys were really, really skinny when they came in. So I didn't really wanna feed them crickets. I wanted to feed them something high in protein that would basically fill them up and be very nutritional. Now these rats are super high in protein and that's why it's so good for these baby gators. So while he's eating that one, we also got another baby gator over here. Check this little dude out. He's hiding behind his hide right now. And we're gonna see if this guy wants to eat as well. Now alligators are super, super good to keep in captivity. They almost always eat. The really hard crocodilians to keep is really caiman. Caiman are very, very hard to keep, but crocodiles and alligators eat anything you put in front of their face. We look at these guys. And if you guys have a good name for these two little gators, comment it down below. I have a couple. There's one I really, really like, Beavis and Butthead, but if you have something better for these alligators to be named, comment it down below and we'll nail that. All right, guys, that is the end of today's episode. If you enjoyed watching me handle snakes at Chandler's house, if you enjoy these baby crocodilians and want to see more content just like it, don't forget, like, comment, and the most important part, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.